Here with Reaction, the author of the best-selling book, Firebrand, Florida Congressman Matt Gates and Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan. Big moments for both of you today. All right, Jim Jordan, I'll take the bait. Who is next? Who's next? Well, it's actually, it could be anyone, and, and Americans don't want to live in fear, Sean, because we have this thing called the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the First Amendment. But I said three weeks on the House floor, three weeks ago on the House floor during the impeachment debate, I said, don't think, I spoke to the Democrats, I said, don't think the cancel culture won't come after you, too. Sean, it took all of 13 days for that statement to be proven true, because what happened last week in San Francisco, the school board said the Dianne Feinstein Elementary School will no longer be named after Senator Feinstein. So even a liberal icon in the state of California who has represented that state in the United States Senate for decades, even, even she's not woke enough and she gets canceled for something she said 37 years ago. That is how dangerous this is. And the Democrats are playing with fire. And we're going to stand up and talk about what the cancel culture mob is doing, how they're attacking our First Amendment liberties, and make sure that we push back on this and it stops happening because it should not take place. In this great country, and you know, I watched closely your the hearing with Nadler today, Matt Gates, and what does it take? All of 10, 15 seconds to say the Pledge of Allegiance, and uh, that I guess is unacceptable to Congressman Nadler. Jerry Nadler gave us the "I gave it the office" version of patriotism today. Jim Jordan and I are speaking to you from a, a capital city that is draped in barbed wire, that is crisscrossed in barricades. And inside the Capitol building, a woman who got over 75 percent of the vote in her district was, was uh, denied her opportunity of full service because Democrats believe that the people inside of Washington, D.C., here for this occupation, know better than the people throughout this great country. It's a travesty. I'm glad that Jim and I are you know, here fighting to ensure that there is that opportunity to uh, have people who disagree on substance without trying to totally cancel one another. Uh, I think it's also interesting that as they were objecting to the Pledge of Allegiance, the, the reasoning was rather tortured. Uh, Democrat Congresswoman Cori Bush said that the Pledge of Allegiance was a symbol of white supremacy and that to accept a statement of the Pledge of Allegiance would just reinforce a racism in our country. And I thought, gosh, at a time when there seems to be such a search for unity, we could do a lot better than this type of divisive rhetoric emerging from House Democrats. You know, Jim Jordan, I, nobody could defend the, the comments about the plane hitting the Pentagon. Um, uh, or these school shootings didn't happen, or all the other things that we talked about last night. I, don't, I have no idea what caused her to think those things. She says she doesn't believe them any longer. I've never heard a Democrat or anybody in the media mob ever apologize, not one time, for the lies they told right. America uh, and what they did to this country, dragging this country through their entire conspiracy theory over three long years. All of it got debunked. Nobody said a thing. Yeah. No, I mean, James Clapper said publicly that, oh, there was this collusion. But what did he say behind closed doors when he was under oath in front of the Intelligence Committee? He said there was no evidence of any type of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia to meddle with the election. So it was a fraud from the get-go, and yet they pushed that conspiracy theory so much. Guess what? On January 6, 2017, when it came time to count the electors for President Trump's victory, the Democrat chair of the Rules Committee, Sean, objected to Alabama. The same guy who started the debates, today's debate off went after Marjorie Taylor Greene. That individual who started the day going after her, that individual was four years ago the one who said, we can't accept the electors from Alabama based on that conspiracy theory. So talk about a double standard. I mean, Alabama, Sean. President Trump won Alabama by 30 points. So he tried to overturn the will of the people in that state based on a conspiracy theory. But today, they take Marjorie Taylor Greene's committee's for, uh, assignments yeah. from her. And as, as Matt just said, she can't represent the people in her district like she's supposed to. This is ridiculous. You know, if Matt Gates, the firebrand, if he had to start with apologies, Jim Jordan, I don't think there's enough hours in any one broadcast <laughs> day to, to ever possibly go through the entire <laughs> list of the firebrand. Uh, he was great in committee today. Hey, I'll listen, that, we Sean. all need more grace, Sean. Amen. We, that, you know, we all, all need more all grace. We should extend that and grace fallen, as well. All have sinned That's and right. fallen short. Uh, we Amen. only kid you because you are a bit of a firebrand. We like it. It's an appropriate title for your best selling book. Um, all right. That'd be a good show one day. You can host there it. There you go. Firebrand with Matt Gates. What do you think? <laughs>
All right. Thank you both. Jim Jordan would be my first guest. All right. There you go. Well, not me. Great. I'm low on the list.